Good afternoon. Welcome to Jim Munley's World of Weather. I clicked on to long range weather forecast discussion for August 30th through September 13th. Having some software issues, so you won't be able to see my ugly face. So I'm going to get on with the forecast. Um, this is current look at Ida. Ida continues to improve with good outflow on the eastern side and the southeast. And the central dense overcast has improved the overall circulation has improved and Ida is forecast to move towards the northwest and expected to make landfall along the Louisiana coast Sunday late Sunday or early Monday as a major hurricane okay so we're going to take a look at the track this is what we're forecasting it to move this would be like 8 p.m. on Sunday and then 8 p.m. on Monday and then we'll put the cone of uncertainty into into play and again don't focus on the exact trap because it can go to the right or to the left of the storm we're going to take a look at the current model trends all of it most of the models bring it into Louisiana a few stray ones are further to the east and um, we'll take a look at other ones majority as of now brings it into the Louisiana coast Okay, um, we're going to go back to this. Now, um, we're going to put the rainfall amounts into play. Uh, let me see what day we'll try day three. And you can see that this is the heaviest rainfall we have here. Orange is here approaching six inches. So um, amounts could be greater than six inches in some locations. After that, Aida is forecast to make a sharp turn to the east-northeast. And, and will spread heavy rainfall threat into the Ohio and Tennessee Valleys Tuesday and Wednesday. And the rain will cause likely flash flooding, urban flooding, stream flooding, river flooding, all, all about that. Now, uh, it'll bring um, gusty winds and heavy rain. To parts of the central Gulf Coast states, and uh, I can say there's very heavy rainfall. This is day three rainfall forecast. Okay, we're going to get to the forecast now. This is for August 30th to the third, and you can see it very well. We still have our westerlies to the north, trough here in the northwest. Above normal heights, we have two ridges one here and one here. They'll merge together. And we'll have a ridge along the southern states. Models of good agreement. So for this forecast period, forecasting below normal temperatures here. And I'm forecasting uh, anomalies of 2 to 6 degrees below normal. Above normal temperatures are forecast for this region here. And I'm forecasting anomalies of 2 to 8 degrees above normal for precipitation. Calling for below normal precipitation here. Probability of occurrence is about 35%. And above normal precipitation forecast here and for much of this area here. And the probability of occurrence is 35 to 40%. Looking ahead to the next period, this is for September 9th through the 13th. And most of the models are showing a zone of flow across the country, ridge across the south, except for the European uh, ensembles, which has a trough across here. So um, uh, this is a natural year for now. So I'm um, calling for this forecast period above normal temperatures for much of this area here. And I'm forecasting anomalies of up to eight degrees above normal. And for precipitation, where's my precipitation map? Where is my, oh, here it is. Calling for below normal precipitation for the Western states and for the Southeast. And the probability of currents is 35 to 40%. 
That's the long range weather forecast discussion for August 30th through September 13th. Thanks for coming, Jim, on this world of weather, and have a good day.